Are accusations from a narcissist really confessions? If you're new here, my name is Lee Hammack. I'm a diagnosed self-aware narcissist, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. Today, we're gonna to be tackling just that. Are accusations from this toxic narcissistic person, are they really confessing to what they are actually doing? Stay tuned, like, and subscribe for more. Accusations from a narcissist actually confessions well, yes that is absolutely true a lot of times that accusations like when a narcissist is accusing you of something that's they're actually confessing to something and of course if you knew her i'm a diagnosed narcissist i have narcissistic personality disorder I say this all the time to people i say if you listen to a narcissistic person enough they will tell them themselves you just have to listen you have to put put your ear to the ground like you're listening for the for the buffalo coming the confessions are over that way. I can hear them. Just listen. Narcissistic people have this sinister way of wanting to tell you what they are doing, wanting to tell you what they are trying to get away with. So if they're out of nowhere, they're accusing you of cheating or lying or stealing money, chances are that might be what they are actually doing. But those accusations could also just be the narcissistic pe person's like biggest insecurities. They could just be deathly afraid of you cheating on them or stealing from them or whatever it is. By the way, Protect your peace and keep a, you know keep your ear out and listen for the confessions. I promise they're there. So welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, y'all. So if you haven't already, hop on Amazon, grab the self love journal. I love me a self love journal by Lee Hammock to help you rebuild that self love, regain that self love, and things of that nature. So so so. The first of all, the creator's name, her name is Manjeet Rupai. She's in the UK. She's a, you know, she helps people deal with narcissistic toxic abuse. I'm going to tag her in the uh, description so y'all can check her stuff out as well. Um, but yeah, y'all, yeah, yeah, yeah. Accus are accusations from a narcissist really confessions? But to be honest, I'm going to just say, y'all, I'm going to be real with you. It depends. Sometimes, sometimes they absolutely are. Sometimes the things that that narcissistic person accuse you of are exactly what they are doing. They're, they, you know, there's typically people refer to it as projecting. They're projecting their inner guilt onto you. Their guilty conscience is be, is trying to find a way to justify their actions, right? Their guilty conscience is trying to find a way to justify their actions. So they do this evil, horrible stuff, right? I mean, so they try to put it onto you. They try to justify their actions. So they say things like, well, maybe they're doing it. Maybe it's you that's doing it too. So maybe I'm just, maybe I cheated on you. To get back at you maybe i lied to you to get back at you for you lying to me maybe i stole from you because you stole from me maybe i, I mean, maybe i hit you it just it's a whole different dynamic out there we are doing these mental gymnastics inside of our head to try and justify what we have done to you you mean we are doing these mental gymnastics to try and justify the thing the situations that we have put you through and things like that so we are trying to blame you maybe you did it you did it so the guilt is eating away at us you know, do, do narcissists feel guilty? Yeah, sometimes. That's why they project it onto you. We don't, we, don't, we don't want it. We can feel guilty, but we don't want to feel it. We try to shake it loose, so we put it onto you. You cheat them, you on you. This, yeah, listen, I tell these people all the time, y'all. I tell this to people all the time. Listen to the narcissistic person. Listen to what they're saying to you. A lot of times they're confessing to you. Narcissists want to confess to you. You just have to listen to it. Put your ear to the ground. Listen for the buffalo. Listen for the rumbling. It's, it's rumbling over there. The confessions. Put your ear to the ground like, I can hear it, Lee. I can hear the confessions. They're over there. You, know, you see what I'm saying? Just listen to them. They want, we want to confess. It's hard to keep it in sometimes, y'all. It's hard keeping it in. So they want to be, it want to be center, sinister and confess to you in a weird way. So they project it onto you. Listen, y'all. Just listen. 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 Yes, a lot of times the accusations are absolutely confessions to their toxic behaviors in their action in their own actual actions. Like I said, it's not always cheating. It could be something else. Just listen to whatever they're saying you're doing. Hiding money behind your back, manipulating the situation, manipulating the situation, lying, gaslighting. Still, like I said, whatever it is, they might project it onto you. It's easy to say. I always say cheating because cheating is easy to talk about. But yeah, it could be. It doesn't necessarily have to be cheating. It could be something else. You know what I mean? So that's the way the situation arises and things of that nature, y'all. Um, but yeah, like I said, but the, the, the accusations could be confessions, but it also the accusations could also be 
the narcissistic person's biggest insecurities. They can be their biggest fears. So if they're accusing you of cheating, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're cheating. It could be paranoia driving them crazy, make it because your behaviors are kind of erratic or you're you you're not that you have these patterns and you not you you're changed up your patterns a little bit. You change you're, you're happier, you're glowing a little bit more. Whatever the situation is, the paranoia kicks in, the fear kicks in, and they automatically think you have somebody else who's making you happy. Why are you happy right now? Why are you bouncing around? Why are you feeling different? Why are you looking different? You know what I mean? You see what I'm saying? So the accusations could also be the biggest insecurities and fears bubbling to the surface. And you know, once it bubbles to the surface, the bubble got to pop sooner or later. The bubble, the big, imagine a big bubble starting right here in your chest and just coming up to your neck and to your throat so you can't talk no more. And bloop, you're cheating on me, aren't you? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It starts off as a little bubble and it just gets to the tunes, gets up here. You can't even breathe anymore. You're like, mm. You're lying to me, aren't you? You want to leave me, don't you? You see what I'm saying? You found somebody else. And you know, they start accusing you of this type of stuff. And they let me see your phone. Let me see your phone right now. They'll be, yeah, they, they, their biggest fears, they feel like their biggest fears are coming to tr coming to coming to fruition. So they don't want they don't want that to happen. So yeah, they will absolutely accuse you of lying. They'll accuse you of stealing from them. They'll accuse you of cheating on them. They'll accuse you of whatever they're actually doing, or they accuse you of their biggest fears. Sometimes they'll tell you their fears out loud. In 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 a, in a form of an accusation, they'll tell you their fears and things of that nature. You know what I mean? But take it with a grain of salt, y'all, because like, yes, sometimes they could be, be projecting the things that they're actually doing to you. You know what I mean? They could be projecting the things that they're actually doing to you on you. But they also could just be telling you what they're afraid of, their biggest fears. And you know, like, if it is their biggest fears, y'all. There's pretty much nothing you can do to make those fears go away. It, there, it's something the narcissist, the person has to process because that, fear, that paranoia can make them go crazy. They can start monitoring you. They can start stalking you. They can start becoming obsessed with you and watching, the, watching you, putting cameras in the house, putting recording devices in your car. You know, Apple, they, they're like, like tracking devices in your car, like a little Apple AirTag or something like that. They'll do things like that to try to find you, to try to follow you because the par you might not even do, be doing anything, y'all, but they're so paranoid. If you're doing something that they have to, they have to put all these monitoring on you. They might put some kind of spyware on your phone. Yeah, I'm just telling you, the mind is a wild thing. The mind as a narcissist is a wild, wild thing. And it makes, sometimes it can make us feel like we're absolutely going crazy. That's part of it though, y'all. I know people are just like, Lee, that is crazy as hell. Yeah, 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 it is crazy. The mindset is wild. It's wild, it's wild to think like this. <sighs> but the only way you can shake it off, you like, that person has to go to therapy to be able to shake this off, y'all. They have to get some help to be able to shake off the paranoia, to be able to breathe through the irrational fears and whatnot. But now if you're actually cheating, if you're actually cheating on them or doing what they suspect and they catch you doing it, buckle up because they might send you out of here. When I say send you up, send you up out of here, if you if they become obsessed with the thought of you cheating on them and somehow you are cheating on them and they find out, they might send you on up out of here, y'all. Lee, what do you mean by send, send, send us on up out of here? We don't understand that slang. Uh, send you to meet God. You pray to God every night? You, you, have, you, have, you part of the Christian faith? You pray to God every night? Put it this way. They'll send you to meet God so you won't have to pray anymore. You won't be able to pray anymore. You'll be, you be face to face with God. So be very, very careful with your actions. Because some people, I'm just telling you, some people cannot handle that if they found out. Because they, they, if their biggest fears ever come to come to reality they get, you just never know how people are going to react so protect your peace protect yourself and protect your life i know i know people they get scared when i say that but i, I have to instill that this this truth into you sometimes the truth can be scary but i have to let you know that sometimes it can be a scary truth because they might come and get you they might try to take your own up out of here y'all be safe be as careful as you possibly can protect your peace protect yourself like and subscribe for more and also Grab that self-love journal on Amazon if you haven't already. If you have the journal already, give me a good rating on Amazon, y'all. I appreciate the rating so far. It's like 35 good ratings. I'm just, y'all, I'm super thankful. I'm super blessed with every single one of y'all. I'm just, I'm incredibly grateful, y'all, seriously. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, mental illness is out. Peace.